Let's talk about databases in AWS. There are a host of options to store your data by using multiple database services in AWS. So quickly speaking, you have RDS, the relational database service that supports many engines. Then there's an offering from AWS that is known as Aurora. It is a fully managed MySQL compatible relational database service. Then you have a NoSQL service offered from AWS that is a fully managed service as well. It is called DynamoDB. We are going to take a look at that. Then you have Redshift. That is a petabyte level data warehousing service. Again, it is a fully managed service. Then you have ElastiCache. That supports in memory cache. Two very popular engines such as Memcached and Redis. Then you have a very cool service called Database Migration Service that basically allows you to migrate your database from Oracle to Aurora. You can use the service and then there is no downtime at all when you use this service. So let's take a look at RDS, DynamoDB, ElastiCache, and Redshift. So once you're in AWS console, you can see that this is the RDS and it is a management service, which essentially means that batch upgrade, operating systems installation are all taken care of by AWS. Then what we are responsible for is when we store our data, we have to provide permissions to set up the firewall settings and to allow access for everything. Then of course, we are responsible for setting up the databases, but the engine is provided by AWS. Then if I click on this thing, let's say for example, I want to fire my SQL instance. And if I click on this thing, I'll just show you how the high availability as well as the backup is taken care of by AWS. So I'll select my server my hardware that's based on my workload, and then I can do something called multi-AZ deployment. When I do this, it basically asks if you want to have a master save configuration, a high availability configuration, and when I do that, then yes, I do get copies of my database in the multiple availability zones within the region. And these are synchronized replicated copies. So in the event of failure, I will automatically be switched on to the other availability zone that has the same copy of my database. So let's quickly add the DB identifier and the username and password. So I'll just call it MySQL for the sake of simplicity. Let me just copy and paste all these. Okay, it doesn't like that. Okay, so it doesn't like my SQL database and let us copy it all over and then let's go to the next step now when we go to advanced settings i'll show you that they have something called backup and then this backup is automatically provisioned by aws and you can see here that there is a maintenance window as well if i want I can give a window, then this is where you should take my backup and the same thing for the maintenance. Now, these are all the things that are taken care of by AWS. And in a traditional environment, we have to do all these things ourselves. So this is the beauty of using AWS, that we don't have to worry about the patches. We don't have to worry about the backup. We don't have to worry about the high availability. It's just configured, and all we have to do is set some security rules, some firewall rules, and some accessibility rules for the users. Coming back to the NoSQL offering of AWS. So this is Amazon DynamoDB. Again, it is a very fast and flexible NoSQL database. So for all of your IoT platforms, for your mobile, for your gaming, this is the AWS service that you are going to use because it is a schemaless database, essentially, where you can have a keypad value and you don't have to worry about whether I'm going to store one value or do I have to store values in all columns as well. 
It deals in something called read capacity unit and write capacity unit for your read requirement and for your write requirement. And that's how it works. You don't have to worry about the provisioning of resources. It scales automatically. Redshift is a petabyte scale data warehousing solution. And again, it is a managed service. So you don't have to worry about, you know, the OS level or the patches. The same thing goes with Elasticache as well. It supports the very popular Memcache and Redis engines. And it is a fully managed service, so you don't have to worry about management or scaling of all of the memory in these engines. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.